All right, our third module is all about layer two. So we have to ask the question, well, what does layer two do? Now you remember that layer two is the data link layer in the OSI model. This is just a screenshot from a Wikipedia page. And I want to look here at the data link layer, layer two, and notice that the definition here is reliable transmission of data frames between two nodes connected by a physical layer. So a physical layer, in other words, they have physical connection with each other. So we're talking about a local network. And layer two is just going to take a packet from layer three as it comes down the model here and then do some stuff to it, add some information and so forth, and then prepare it, uh, figure out how it's going to go onto the physical layer here. So that's what layer two does in a nutshell. Let's uh, talk about it in a little more detail. First of all, notice that we talked about only a local area network. So if I have a network here, now remember everything off of one port of a router is a network. So every, every port on a router is a different network. So everything, including this port on this router and everything attached to it is all one local network. And these uh, devices, in fact, these devices are even going to talk to this port on the router all through MAC addresses. We're going to talk about a little bit more about that uh, later on as we as we get there. And so um, layer two then provides communication for all of these local uh, devices. Now there is some long distance layer two. It's kind of rare today, but we have had it in the past. Here's one example frame relay. So I've got some some routers that have been turned into switches. They've been turned into ra frame relay switches and so now cross country here I can talk to another device and I don't use MAC addresses. I use something in this case called Dulce numbers. There are different address types for different protocols but we're really not going to spend any time here on talking about these long distance protocols. Uh, we will come back to them a little bit near the end of the course. Layer 2 is capable of some flow control. Now flow control has to do with the receiver sending back to the sender information about what it's missing and what it needs yet. Um, and uh, in, for that matter the size of, of these various frames that can go over here. Now having said that I'm going to tell you that with Ethernet, which is what we're going to talk about most, uh, we don't do flow control at layer two. We leave that up to layer four. Error handling. So layer two is also capable of doing some error handling. Uh, now, once again, I'm going to tell you that with Ethernet, we don't really do much error handling with one exception. Uh, we do drop bad frames. But other than that, we don't request retransmission or anything like that. We're going to look at the possibilities later on. So the summary, we control access to the media. We do local addressing, MAC addressing. We do flow control, or we can do flow control, and we can do error handling all at layer two. Thank you for listening.